Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put sign up forms right inside your Medium articles using a product called Upscribe. So stay tuned for this one. Hey, everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, we're going to talk about this product called Upscribe. It's actually U P S C R I dot B E. So little tricky so check the uh, check the notes to see the actual URL but I was you know I don't know if you know it but TechSmart Boss is actually on Medium so Medium at TechSmart Boss and you can find that we syndicate we put all of our articles out there our podcasts our cool tech of the week uh, our videos our newsletters you name it we got them out there on our our, our Medium channel um, but I was looking for a way to actually allow people to subscribe to our newsletter and mailing list from the actual medium because, you know, medium's a little bit funny in how they do that. And in researching it, I came across this product right here as one of the ways to do embeddable sign-up forms in medium. And one of the things I really liked about them, one, it looks super easy, but two, they got a lot of great integrations. And you can kind of see they got Zapier. Love that. They got Slack. You know, all we do is talk about Slack. But that got really excited. They had Review, which is the product that we use for our newsletter and a whole lot of other ones. So not 100% sure if all these are just running through Zapier because I could do that or if they're direct integration. So I wanted to try this product out. They also hook up to a lot of good CRMs, HubSpot, which is another product that, you know, we talk a lot about. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up a form and see how it works. Now, price wise, I would say you got to really be a medium guru. You got to have a lot of traffic on medium. You got to be doing a lot when you get into some of these higher type of page views here. They got a nice little low end blogger style page here. But the key is I noticed the integrations. So I really think they need to bring some of these integrations back inside their blogger because, you know, a newsletter like Review or HubSpot CRM, which is a, a free CRM, I'm not sure that should be considered pro. That would be the only knock I would say from this. So Josh from Upscribe on your chat widget, if you're listening to me on this video, that would be my comment on your price. And let's see how it changes on the annual. Annual, pretty good discount, 20% off. All right, let's sign up for their trial. Take a look and see what we have here. So now... The, the one thing that I do not like about trials, you know how I am when they ask for credit card information right up front. Um, but because I do want to see this, I'm going to go ahead and s sign up. And, you know, I'm sure they make it really easy to uh, cancel. So I'm not not worried about that. But what I'm going to do is pause this video because I'm not even going to let you see what I type in and blur it out. I'm just going to pause the video and go ahead and put my sign up information. So stay tuned. Okay, so I put in my credit card info and it took me to a place to create an account. Now, one more thing about that credit card. One of the reasons I am a little bit more open to doing that is I use a product called privacy.com. Check it out. I think it only works in the US, US based, but I love privacy.com. Allows you to create a virtual credit card. I can put limits, I can put I can kill it. I could do all kind of stuff, so nobody gets access to my direct credit card or banking account. Uh, it's a lot better. I like it better than PayPal. All right, so let's go ahead and put in and set my account up. It was a little weird because after I put my credit card in, it took me right here, and it's saying create an account, which is good. So I'm going to put in a password, put in my email, and sign up. I would think I would have done this first and then put my credit card information in once I created an account so a little bit of a reverse on that and okay so now I'm back on my plan so I'm there already and the business plan now for the trial purposes because I want to get into some of these business integrations I'm gonna stay on this plan um, but I would probably oh, well, let's just take a look and see see what happens here so I'm, I'm assuming I'm need to go well I got my little picture up here so it knows I'm in the account there we go Let's see my account. Where is that going to take me? So the onboarding, I would say they got to work a little bit on that onboarding because what would be great is if I would go ahead and get right into a onboard um, process to help me set up my first form. Very focused around getting my money up front kind of thing. I'm in a trial though. And you see right here, I can cancel. So that's nice. 
they got a nice big cancel button there all right so I'm assuming to get into the product I'm gonna have to use this so let's go ahead and click on this and see if that's going to take me there all right so still telling me to choose a plan so for some reason I got a feeling maybe I have not chosen a plan yet let's just again click here but I do see where I can create a form so this just might be okay let's update details all right I don't need to do that so all right so let's go back there so I'm there I think they just got to work out some of the kinks in their sign up process there that was a lot of friction um, to go there so now, now let's let's look up here at the top header because that looks like where I can create a form I got my forms I can customize it integrate it let's let's click on a couple of these can I click on integrate before I create no. All right. So let's create create a form. So it looks like they give me one couple examples that I can start from, which is nice. Uh, and I actually am looking to do a uh, sign up for my newsletter one. So let's click on this. And all right. It looks like something happened on the back end. It finally got my stuff straight, and now I'm seeing some stuff. All right. Let's get into let's get into what we got here. So. I'm in a form. I want to go back. I'm I'm almost afraid. Well, let's not go back. I'm in that sign up for my newsletter form. This is where I can customize it. So I've got my form here. So now I'm in the editor. So the form is composed of form, the thank you page. I like the fact that you can put your social your social icons there. That's nice. Let's click on one of these and see. Oh, it actually takes you to that. I don't want to do that. All right. So we'll look at that in a second. Let's see what I can integrate with. Ah, nice. So this is a big question I had. Are these through Zapier or native integrations? And they are native. That really increases the overall value of this software, I would say. I'm going to come back and integrate with review. But let me just see what's going on here in the rest of the signups. No signups yet, of course. I haven't put it out there. Stats, no stats yet, of course. Now what is send? Oh, so I guess after they sign up, you can send a a uh, confirmation email, perhaps. Let's take a look at that section there. Oh, it looks like this is just where you can invite folks to to do that. So that's just an email component of inviting. Let's go back to the customize, and I'm gonna actually I'll, I'll use this and put this on a medium post, and let's test it out. So design colors cover image all these background colors let's go ahead and put my favorite 005 FAC hmm, not great for a button color but I like it so I'll keep it uh, white text nice I could customize the URL so that's a really nice touch and and, and let's uh, I'm gonna put in here uh, review just because that's where I'm going to use this one mainly for. Ah, somebody got my slug on that. All right, so I'm going to call this one TechSmart Boss. I bet you nobody has that one. All right, available. Uh, I can send them to a custom thank you page. That's nice. Show sign up counts. That's nice. Show powered by. Get paid for referring users. Okay, thank you for that. Let's see what else we got. Additional fields. So I can add more fields. Oh, GDPR. Nice. Some of you guys care about that. As you know from listening to my podcast, I don't really care about that as much, even though maybe I should. Uh, but I could ask for first name, for example. There it is. First name. Very nice. Lead magnet. So I could send a file with it. Okay, that's cool. So they got a lot of good, nice little features here. I'm just going to keep this simple. And I could put some terms and privacies on there. I'm, I would come back, of course, and do that, some of that stuff. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that now. Looks like you could actually use this embedded in Medium, embedded on any web page, honestly. But they also have a landing page URL. Now, let's let's take a look at that. I don't know if I've saved. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to save it and get my first name there. Let's refresh that and see if it's got my color and my name. There it is. I mean, this is pretty simple. I'm doing this fresh. It's not hard to do. Now... I'm going to eventually go into Medium. Let's copy this now. But before I do that, let's hook this up to review and see how this works. So I'm going to say plus here. Ah, API key. That's what I like to see. So now I'm going to pop into my review. This is how I do my newsletter every week, guys. So if you like this, go out to newsletter.techsmartboss.com. Every week, I got a little motivational graphic that we make. I got a tweet of the week that I put out. 
talk about our video, talk about our podcast of the week, and I got five of the best curated articles that I found this week, as well as a cool tech of the week. I haven't put the cool tech yet in this week. I'm going to go in and get my API key, so no, you're not going to see it. I'm going to blur that out. Let's pop in here. Where is my API key? Uh, in settings, probably. There it is. I don't even know where the API key is on this. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second and go out here and find my API key. So stay tuned. Okay, I found it. It was in integrations at the bottom footer. We'll go ahead and paste it in here. Blur it out. You can't see it. Save that. All right. Now let's pick the list, my review list. It pulled that in dynamically for me. I only have one list. And now that's integrated. And I'm assuming that that auto saved and I should be good to go to put this in medium. So let's give this a try. So I'm going to go to medium and I've got an article here. I'm going to see, I'm going to put this sign up form on there and see what happens. Let's go ahead and edit this story. I'm not going to, you know, write up anything about it. In fact, it's already a nice form. It's got some good header information. I'm just going to go ahead and put this at the bottom. I would probably actually put it in a couple of places like probably here so let's actually just put it here um let's see i should just be able to paste this link see how it's got the tech smart boss which is um the slug that i customize let's enter all right and there it is now i don't believe that review will allow me to pass this first name into it i'm gonna try something here i'm gonna save and publish this and there's my, there's everything there. Very nice. Let's go back here and customize this and take first name off. I'm going to save it. And then let's refresh this Medium article and see if that is automatically translated. That would be nice because then that form is automatic. Oh, there it is. So now I've got one place I can put this call to action on all my Medium articles or, you know, wherever you're putting them. And you can dynamic, you can update them, update the integrations, up th update things here, and not have to go back and edit your actual articles. That's that's a, a really nice touch. All right, so now I'm, I'm in review. Let's go to my subscriber list. I'm going to blur this out so you can't see a lot of information there. What I'm going to do is subscribe here under somebody that is not on that list. I'm going to put one of my uh, business email accounts there. I'm going to check the checkbox here. Now I would put my stuff, my privacy policy and things. I didn't go in and do that. And let's go ahead and sign up and see what happens. So it's going to pop open. Looks like it popped open some tabs here. Now I didn't set up the custom thank you page or I didn't change any of this. But you can see these are the icons you saw before. With that, now let's take a look. Let's go first into review and refresh. And I don't see them. Now, what I discovered is if I do go into signups, I should see it. Let's take a look at signups here. I do. All right. So 25 seconds ago, I signed up. Notice that you got to manually sync. So that was something that caught me a little bit off guard is that I have to manually sync. It's not an automatic thing. But what is cool is if I click, so let me go ahead and press that button while I'm talking. So it says syncing signups to review. And let's give this a second to come back. I am able to, and here it says it's synced, I am able to click on an email address in Upscribe and actually get the information on which post that they subscribed on and things like that. So now I do notice this opted in to receive emails. I did check that box, but maybe because I didn't set up all my privacy policy, it's not quite set up right. So I don't know if this is going to go to review or not because it has that no there. But let's let's check and see after it's synced and see if it actually did get if it did sit over there I, I don't see it so i think i gotta do some more digging on setting up all my privacy policies and things like that but that was pretty pretty simple i got to thinking about it and the reason it didn't show up in review is because i didn't confirm my subscription so i actually I went back to my email box here and boom there it was so it actually did autumn well it didn't automatically after i hit that sync button it pushed it to review. It didn't show up in my subscriber list because I hadn't confirmed it yet, which which makes perfect sense. So that's the concept with Upscribe. I, I, I like this concept. I think that 
onboarding, they definitely got to do some work on onboarding. I would love to have a free trial without having to put my credit card in, but that that's simple. I can cancel that. For, you know, I, I, I use a little tool called trackmysubs.com. I talk about it all the time. I'll pop this in there and get a notification in Slack when my trial is about to be due. I do like the integrations that are native, and I just set up one, but it looks like there's no limit on at least the business plan. I could go in and set up my Slack, set up my Zapier, set up my review. I'm going to pop that in Zapier. I can set up a, uh, a FOMO alert on my website. Check out, out, my, out the other YouTube videos for how to do those sorts of things. And it's got some really cool customization options. And it looks like you can set up as many of these forms as you want and kind of customize your call to action based on the post that you're doing. So good service. I'm going to work out some of the kinks that I ran into, but check it out and give it a try. And if you're on Medium, this is the way you got to do it. So this 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 works this works well for Medium to integrate those uh, those call to actions and those leads back into your core business services. All right, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube site, check out our Facebook page, and look at the next video. We're here putting out one every week. Talk to you soon.